Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you the Mexican style coffee that I make every morning. And I've been making this coffee for a little bit over three years. And let me tell you, you're going to fall in love. This is currently my favorite coffee, but anything that's 100% Arabica is my favorite. Once I open my bag, there's so much of it that I keep the rest in the Ziploc bag and put it in the freezer so it can keep it nice and fresh. You're gonna need to add three cups of coffee beans to your blender. Two cloves, one star anise, and one and a half cinnamon sticks. And now you're gonna blend until smooth. And boom, done. Oh, that smells amazing. I live in a cold climate and I'm also at the age that in the evenings I need to have something warm to drink and I really do love hot chocolate. So sometimes I will add a little piece of hot chocolate or you can blend about two to three pieces of this hot chocolate with your coffee and you'll be set every morning with some little hot chocolate coffee. To my French press, I add four tablespoons of our ground coffee. And you know I have a heavy hand so it's more of a heaping tablespoon. I use my kettle to warm up my water. And then you just wanna pour a little bit of your hot water in there. I pour enough hot water to soak up the coffee grounds. And then I let it set for about 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, I pour a little bit more. And I let that set for another 30 seconds. And after the 30 seconds, I start pouring the remaining amount of water. Oh, I wish you guys were here. <laughs> it smells so good. You know, and since I'm waking up early in the mornings, it, you know, it slowly wakes me up. And I'm pouring about four cups of water. I like my coffee strong, so make sure to adjust to your liking. And then I just let it set for about 45 seconds to a minute. I don't use white sugar for my coffee. I use coconut sugar because I feel that it works a lot better for me and I don't get jittery. Then I use about one or two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. And boom, done, your coffee's ready. Mmm, that's perfect. And I love this coffee with a chocolate dip croissant with sliced almonds on the top. If you want me to show you how to make this, I can. And if you have a little bit of coffee left over, you can go ahead and save that so you can have some iced coffee later. 